A logo represents a company and it helps to create a visual identity for that company. It is used to communicate the company's values and mission and its audience. In this video, I will provide you step-by-step -step process on how to create a logo using Midjourney. My name is Anil. I'm the creator of this channel. I'm creating videos on how to use AI to your advantage. First, define your brand. Before you start designing a logo, it's important to have a clear understanding of the brand's values, target audience, and industry. This will help inform the design and ensure that the logo accurately represents the brand. But we're not going to do that in this video because it's a separate topic. If you want to know how to create a brand, there's a Google Doc in the description below that explains on how to start creating it. Okay, let's assume that you already have a shoe company and you already know your brand. Your brand values include Resolve, Revolution, Realization, and its brand personality is vibrant, self-assured, and aspirational. The second step is to do a research on the competition so that we have a clear idea of what has already been done and what might be expected by the target audience. For example, if you are designing a logo of a coffee shop, you might look at logos for other coffee shops to see what elements they include, such as coffee cups, beans, or steaming coffee. So, in this video, we'll use Nike as an example. So for Nike, their best-selling shoes uses the color black, white, and red. Third step, sketch out ideas. Since you know already your brand and what colors they use for their best-selling shoes, we can put that idea now to the test. Just go to Midjourney. If you haven't used Midjourney, you can click on the link on this video on how to start using it. Now that you're logged in, we'll just have to put in the data we just gathered type in forward slash imagine and the information you already gathered logo design shoe company resolve revolution realization vibrant self-assured aspirational and the color red black and white fourth step is to refine the sketches choose the most promising ones and refine them further this might involve redrawing the sketches digitally or using software to manipulate the design but with Midjourney, you just have to add remove data and test it until you're satisfied with the design. If you need to refine further and don't want to change the overall look of the logo, you can save it and go to Photoshop and tweak it. Okay, as you can see, I already put in the data. Logo design, shoe company, resolve, and all this jazz. So, but the goal here is to make sure that the logo is easily recognizable aesthetically pleasing to the to add on a shoe and it has no face no words added but if the logo is great but still has the words but and it can be easily removed then you can just put it in Photoshop and keep it so as I scroll down here you can see that the logo design shoe company still appears so what I did is just remove the logo design uh, sorry, remove the show, shoe company and this is what came out which I didn't like so what it did is that I actually removed the red and white color to make mid journey does its thing to create logo designs for you and this is what it came out as you can see there's still some uh, images of a lion I believe and a person but this one it shows up as a logo so I continued doing this and as you can see there's a lot of it uh, it took me several hours just to create um, several logos but what came out is at the bottom and this is what the results are so I chose this eagle, maybe the client would like this, or I, and this one, I really like the, how it looks like and it feels, and this one too, and this one, the, the most favorite that I, that I choose for the logo is this one, 
it kind of feel like it's uh it was it gives the revolution realization and it's also vibrant and aspirational for me when i look at the logo it shows all the the things that i needed so this is what i chose for the logo fifth step present the design show the refined design to the client or relevant stakeholders and gather feedback sixth step make revisions based on that feedback and finally the last step is to finalize the logo now that you know how to create a logo, you can now use this information for your work or freelancing career. If you want to know more on how to use AI, please click on the link that appears on the screen and have a great day.